Hey everyone, Rascal here. And Mama. Welcome to our podcast. Today we're covering part two of the anime DC movie, The Dark Knight Returns. Now with nearly any Batman movie ever made, the Joker returns oh, again to exact his revenge on Batman. Shortly after his return to Gotham, and the Dark Knight must also face confrontation with Superman, who's been ordered by the President yep. to take him down. And before we start with that uh, thing, uh, be sure to like, subscribe, and notification for the updates of future podcasts and we'll pause video. And more Batman movies. Now think about how much of a threat a Batman had to be with no powers whatsoever. Not a Superman, Batman, just a guy in a costume had to be for the president of the United States to go take get Superman and say, look, you need to take control of this guy. He could threaten this to the whole country. Yes. And he was in written name and remind you, not only does he have no power, he just has gadgets, he's also uh, elderly as well. And he still was under, was watched. Now, before we get fully into here, we did a podcast already on The Dark Knight Rises Part 1. You would have heard it a few days ago, I think days ago. So, if you have not listened to that one, you may want to take a uh, listen to that, and then come back to this if you've never seen either of these movies. Right. So, uh, yeah, in here, they got a little more dark. Very dark, actually. First one was already a dark movie. Batman's gonna be dark. But seeing how is this uh, story is incredibly popular, mm-hmm. but yeah, when it was a comic, I guess you would expect them to try to stick as much as possible. So if this is accurate to the comic, then props to them for sticking to the source material and making an engaging story. But here's the thing. If it's not, it still was so engaging and such a good movie that we'd be okay. Right. And we personally like part one more. Didn't mean part two wasn't any was a good is that we we did like part one with how batman came back mm-hmm. and here we had the same old thing with joker on this time joker didn't pull any punches whatsoever i mean he has a funny line still but he was out to destroy every time yeah. and he was not playing he was ready to end it once and for all yeah. and they made sure joker was over once and for all and it's not pretty can't describe it here but it definitely makes sure his stuff is put to an end before it's another 20 years of fighting him now the good thing about this movie well lots of good things about them but one thing we really like is that they brought back stephanie yes who as the robin right and she was still just as adorable and lovable in this movie being um, his sidekick. Happily being his sidekick. Yeah. Not having any issues being his sidekick. And she did protect him well. And you could tell that it wasn't just one of these fangirl things where, ooh, I'm with Batman, I've been watching him, I'm going to be a Robin all this time, and I get to be, and then she checks out on him, or she can't do it. She puts her all into it, and even to the death, she would try to protect him. And I really like that about this movie, because You know, we have Damien, we have Dick, we have Jason, we have Tim, Tim, and we have all of their stories deep into the franchise and knowing it. But her, we don't know that much. And just seeing how much she loved Batman and what he does and just loving the idea of justice, protecting people and helping and that she would put her all into it at all costs really made her worthy Mm -hmm. of wearing the uh, Robin cow. Right. And it's a shame they don't use her again in other Batman. Yeah. It's it's a shame they'll use her in other takes on Batman or DC. We've only seen her in this and no other animated form. Now, perhaps maybe she was made specifically for that time period when he returns. But, you know, they reboot things all the time. We've seen them where they have well, some different timelines or alternate universes come together and they're all in one place. So they could do the same thing with her and, and just have her in the same league or lineup with these other Robins coming in. I would love to see a movie with just her. Mm-hmm. Or, as you say, maybe a um, limited series for her. Yeah. But she would have to be the Stephanie, not... A modern day one, not one they change, not one they decide she should look different and all these other things. Just with the character as she is here, because as she is in both of these movies, 
is just a fantastic movie. Yeah, and you really good to love her in the first movie, you just love her even more this movie. And it doesn't change that she does everything she can to help him. And especially when they have the fight with Superman. It was the oh, original, yeah. it was the original Batman vs. Superman movie. Yes, and this one was pretty rough too. Right. Only this time it wasn't Batman just trying to brutally take out Superman. So they had even more sense in this movie for that when it comes to it. And then Supes kept saying, you know, can't you just come with me? We can just end this if you just come with me. We can just end this if you just come with me. Don't make me hurt you. We can just end this if you come with me. Right. And, and we're don't... laughing like, ah, you think you're going to hurt Batman? Yeah. Oh, that's so funny, Superman. Right? And then Batman, <laughs> bam! <laughs> and... But even the point here where they have they call they call them the Mutants, it's not X Men, but they call the the gang from the first movie the Mutants, and there was still a few left over, and a lot of them either went away or they defected to Batman, and they were bringing out their own justice, which was hilarious. But they were still causing some trouble if it wasn't for these other groups of people trying to cause crap as well. So they were trying to stop them, like they were helping Batman in their own way. It was a little bit misguided. But they really missed him when they were loyal to him after that. And they weren't trying doing crimes behind doing justice and doing crime. They really weren't attempting to help Batman. And then when it came to a point where uh, the, they had a missile come in and knock out all the power. And they made it where uh, Superman couldn't come in and save them. And all the citizens worked together. So even the criminals and the gangs and stuff put down their weapons and helped each city. other. Yes. Right. And they said, this is the time for everyone to come together. And they actually stopped the fighting and they worked together, which is something we had never seen in anything ever. Right. And all the stuff we see, we never seen in the bad guys actually just stop and actually work together. So they called the truce. Yeah. And they did it. And then even after the mutants, they went to join Batman. Yes. I thought it was pretty cool where, you know, you were fighting him, they were trying to beat him and stuff, and then after all that happened between books, I mean, uh, movies one and two, they actually helped Batman come back when it got towards the end of the movie and help him, you know, he was training these new people. It was a really cool thing to see that he just turned all the, all the, uh, I guess the miscreants of Gotham into vigilantes. <laughs> now, the way this movie ended is not how we've seen, personally, as any Batman movie end. Or a comic end, right? And we didn't read this if it was a comic, and the we the way it ended, we were just surprised. And there definitely won't be any more movies for this particular arc after this. This is it, part two. Yeah. is it. And do we wish it had ended differently? I would say absolutely. Even yeah. though we have to see it, so we don't spoil it for you. But we wish it had ended differently, and that would have given it an opportunity to have a part three. Right. This really, part two was just as good as part one. Mm -hmm. We weren't expecting it to be. We were hoping that we wouldn't be disappointed. Right. Because, you know, sometimes you get part one or first movie and it's great, and the second movie is like what happened. Right. But they delivered on both parts one and two. The unfortunate thing is we found this at the dollar store. Both parts one and two were found at the dollar store. Right. And it has no business there because these movies are excellent examples of the type of animated movies DC used to churn out. They were high quality, they had great stories, and they had uh, great characters, and the characters had depth, and some of the characters had growth and some didn't. Yeah. The animation was spot on, and it was always yeah. whatever the latest um, animation style was, and this is an example of DC's former legacy, because the movies now that are animated they put out don't match up to the caliber right. of these of either part one or this right. will be uh, the Dark Knight Returns part two. Right, because if you look at the graphic novels along with it, it's more concerned about trying to adapt to either a younger audience by changing the story every single time or trying to be bloody and gruesome and violent and adult as possible and it what is not necessary. Right, this one did have balance, this and but it was Control. necessary. Yeah. Control and necessary. But it wasn't just graphic and just blood and gore. Right, and when it was it done, it's the done. story. And it worked. Yeah. And, you know, still loving these DC movies because we watched all the Marvel movies and we liked only one of them. And with the DC, they managed to put out, majority of the time, fantastic stories. Regardless of adapting something or making something entirely new or making a crossover like Batman vs. Ninja Turtles. Right. And they always 
most of the time they put out great products. Yes. Yes. They put out really, really great products. And this is by far, we can see why it's one of their best movies ever. Absolutely. So if you've seen The Dark Knight Returns Part 2, let us know what you think in the comments below. Do you wish there had been a different ending? Do you wish that we could have had a Part 3? And do you wish that DC would go back to making these type of movies? They have a variety of genres for superhero movies. They're not all like this, but the way this this particular two-parter was made, you don't mind seeing this. Right. So, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get updates of future podcasts and we'll pause videos. And more Batman videos. Yes, of course. Thank you so much for watching. I'm Mouse Entertainment. And I'm Mom Entertainment. Have a fantastic day. Peace. Rivers and streams, plucking sunlight from the sky in my pocket.